once again, uh, once a year, we do a show um, giving homage to one of the Taos founders. There were six of them. This year, we are featuring Joseph Henry Sharp. Uh, today, we're interviewing uh, Aaron Courier, who, as one of our artists, has accepted the challenge of uh, making a painting based on whatever inspired her from his career. And so welcome, Erin, today. And uh, behind us here, you can see her finished painting. Um, and, and going through this process, what inspired you about Joseph Henry Sharp most? As an artist, I'm most inspired by traveling to, um, well, all over the world. And, and within New Mexico, I'm inspired by by um, by culture and by people, and so I like that about him that he would. Uh, I think I believe all six of those Taos modernists um, traveled pretty far to make their way to Taos. And well, they traveled all the way. To, like he studied in Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And but all the way up from. South Dakota area and finally migrated into Taos, but yeah, traveling. Mm -hmm. and this is horse and buggy days. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I feel an affinity toward him for that reason. And um, I think to this day in New Mexico, I like that kind of play. I think that so much great art has come out in New Mexico because, you know, people have come here from elsewhere and influenced local um, indigenous, native contemporary artists, Hispanic artists, and in turn been influenced by them. And there's this back and forth that has created art like you don't see anywhere else in the world. Yeah. Um, for those of you who have never seen Erin Courier's work, um, she starts off with the drawing and then includes a collage of refuse that she's collected on her travels. And so when you look at her paintings, you can always be inspired by tons of words and imagery. Uh, what are what are the kind of things that you picked for this painting as far as the collage part? Well, I like to try to reference the story of the subject through my use of materials. And so I obviously I used um, things that reference New Mexico. I found this old postcard from um, my grandmother who who never traveled but dreamt of traveling my maternal grandmother and she had all these these old um, things from places and that was one of them and I used um, cage free I I liked that because it's about you know like what we were talking about that that freedom of the artist to mm -hmm. take artistic license and to to move about in the world um, and sharpie markers which also references I didn't even think of it either but um, a friend of mine saw that and, and said oh Joseph Henry Sharp but <laughs> I just included it because I was trying to layer in like art materials packaging from art materials Oh, and Meow Wolf. I saw also. that, Meow Wolf. Uh -huh. My Meow Wolf admission pass. And then there's this kind of moment that moves through it, like there's this this old antique like part of some, some flyer card of this girl holding a bird. And I thought of her as being like the muse, like, you know, the muse off in the side of his mind and you follow this bird to the this um tattoo postcard from melrose and that bird into these roosters and down into his heart so well, that is there's cool. that kind of moving through it and then my very favorite material is this is from um he's an old friend of both of ours a little housing and joseph read the chef of Joseph's table and I found this old ripped menu of his and I felt that it totally made the piece. <laughs> oh that is great. I'm glad you shared all that. Um, can you tell us about why you picked the portrait and show us the original reference material? Oh uh, yeah. So here's the, um, 
the original portrait, and I try to stay as true as possible to, you know, just the um, palette and the, the shadow and the light and um, even the color, the background it. color, huh? the green. Yeah, I liked. I love artists' self portraits. I think they reflect this moment in time of where where an artist is at internally and in their heart and in their practice. And I almost, with this Joseph's Table um, placemat or whatever it was, I almost tore off the S, so it said Joseph's. Joseph. Mm -hmm. But then I like the, the apostrophe S because then it's showing that it's, it's, his. it's his. It's his take on himself, how he views himself. and. Um, so I liked, I liked that. So for those of you who aren't familiar as well with her painting style, uh, she puts a lot of, I would see a lot of thought into her work. Um, but she also starts off with a sketch. Can I show us some of your sketches? Oh yeah, sure. So <clears throat> I also worked from this photograph that I found of him. And here's a sketch of the portrait. They're wonderful. Oh, thanks. I always like to try to make sure I can, like, nail it, you know, the essence. You, you did. <laughs> so I, I think you did a good job. So I sketch that first, and then I'm like, okay, I can do this, and then <laughs> transfer it to a big painting. Well, Erin, we appreciate you taking the challenge. You did a very beautiful painting, and we're oh, proud of you. you. We love having you in the gallery, and thank you for doing this interview today. Thank you. <laughs>